Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Kids Worship. My name is Reverend Karen, and as always, I'm so excited to be here with you today. Oh, we are in the season of Pentecost, which is why I am wearing green. Um, Pentecost is a season of growth where we learn about our faith and deepen what it is we know, and we also work on our relationship with God. <clears throat> and so that's what we're going to work on today. I want to start first by inviting us to pass the peace. As I've said before, Jesus invites us and offers us peace, and so we want to offer one another peace because that's what we do here on earth. So I'm going to say, the peace of Christ be with you, and you're going to respond with, and also with you. Are you ready? The peace of Christ be with you. Thank you. Now, if you are joining me on Facebook, I hope that you will add some comments. Maybe you will do some emoticons or whatever it is you need to do. It would be great. I would, I would love to see that. Um, starting next Sunday, we're going to start going and doing this live on YouTube and not Facebook. So those of you who have been following on Facebook, you're going to need to find a different link and basically go to our website where... Um, you will find the YouTube channel. And that way you can find me, which would be great. So, yay, emoticons, hello. I'm <laughs> so excited. <sighs> I wanna start by teaching you a new song and it's called The Circle of Love. <clears throat> so the chorus is this, it says, the circle of love, so the circle of love goes around, around. The circle of love goes around. Reach out. Grab a hand, someone needs you, and the circle of love goes around. So that's the chorus. So I'm gonna sing through the chorus and I want you to get out your noise-making instruments or your dancing shoes, whatever it is, and I want you to sing with me as I teach you this new song. The circle of love goes around, around. The circle of love goes around. simple right <clears throat> now there's some verses so I will sing through the verses but I want you to be dancing and creating circles in your homes all right so we'll start with the chorus again Someone needs 
talk about the circle of love and how each of us at some point in our life is going to need help. And it's really nice to know that when we reach out for help, someone is there to help us. And so Jesus is teaching us that we want to do that. We want to help people. And the way we do that is by reaching out and asking. It's very important to ask what it is people want help with. We don't want to make any assumptions. So I wanted to share a story with you. And this is about the healing of Bartimaeus. Now, Bartimaeus was a person who lived out on the streets. He didn't have much of anything. And in fact, he couldn't see. He was blind. And so in Jesus' time, he would be called a beggar because he would beg him for food or money and those kinds of things. So he was out on the street one day in Jericho when suddenly Jesus and all of his disciples were coming by. And of course, as soon as Jesus came to town, everyone got excited and there'd be a huge crowd that would gather and Bartimaeus could hear this happening. And as he listened, he got really excited. He had heard about Jesus of Nazareth and all the things that Jesus had done, you know, the, the feeding of the 5,000 with loaves and fishes, well, even though there were only two loaves and, you know, three fishes and those kinds of things. Um, but yeah, so Bartimaeus heard that Jesus was in town. And so do you know what he did? He shouted out as loud as he could over top of all of the crowds and said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Well, a lot of people looked at the blind beggar and told him to be quiet. They shushed him. They're like, shh, God, don't, don't interrupt. I mean, Jesus is here. We're trying to listen. But you know what he did? He yelled even louder. He's like, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And so Jesus heard him and Jesus stood still. He listened. And then he said to the disciples, Call Bartimaeus over to me. So the disciples went over to Bartimaeus, the blind man, and they told him, take heart, get up. Jesus wants to talk to you. Come with us. So the blind beggar, Bartimaeus, stood up. He threw off his cloak and he went up to Jesus. And as he got towards Jesus, Jesus said to him, what do you want me to do for you? And Bartimaeus looked at Jesus and said, my teacher, let me see again. And Jesus said to him, go, your faith has made you well. And immediately Bartimaeus could see again. It had been a long time and he hadn't been able to see for a while. And Jesus, because of the faith Bartimaeus had in Jesus, Jesus healed him. Now, what I love about this story was that Bartimaeus didn't give up. He needed help and he knew that Jesus was the one that could help him. And so he called out, even though people were telling him to be quiet, he called out again and said, please, Jesus, help me. And the other piece I like is that Jesus stopped and he listened to what Bartimaeus had to say. Sometimes we think we know what people want and it's not always true. So we need to really think about what it is people might want. And so asking the question, how can I help you, is a really important question and one that Jesus wants us to ask each other and people that we see out in the world. So I hope that you will do that over this next week. Now in church um, at 1030, over the next several weeks, we are gonna be inviting people in the congregation to answer some questions on a paper hand. So if you have some paper at home, what I'd like you to do is trace your hand on that piece of paper and then cut it out like this. And I want you to answer this question today. Are you ready for the question? The question today is, why do you love coming to Robertson Wesley United Church? Now, if you want to answer on Facebook in the comment box, I will write them on hands for you. Um, and all of these hands are going to go up in the sanctuary somewhere. And we're going we're gonna to be hearing some pretty cool stuff. So I hope that you will tune in to our worship service at 1030. Because the gratitude team has a real special thing that's going to be happening in the next few weeks. And they want to get you excited. So I hope you will think about what is it that you love about coming to Roberts and Wesley? What, what's the thing? and write it on the hand. And you can, like I said, you can make this at home. And if you wanna drop it off at the church or mail it to the church, that would be really cool. But we want a whole bunch of people's hands here. 
snacks and fun, yeah. <laughs> totally makes totally makes sense. Um, awesome. Now, when you help people, what do you need to do? Number one, you need to ask what it is they want help with. And then number two, we find a way to help them. Now, not all of us are going to be able to heal somebody who is blind, and, and that's not expected of us. But we can help people. So say somebody who was blind was lost. Those of us who could see could potentially help if we asked the person and said, hey, what is it that you need? And they might say, you know what, I need to find this street. And then you would go and help them find that street. So remember that every single thing that we do, every little piece of help that we can provide makes a difference in this world. Because if everyone is helping everybody else, the whole world will be helped. It's as simple as that. So I, uh, I'm excited that you are all going to find a way to ask people if you can help them this week, right? That's what you're going to do this week. It's lovely, lovely, lovely. And what else are you going to do? I want to see your hands. Give me your hands. Um, so add your answers on the hands and send them in. And I will add the ones that are in our comment box. So the other hymn that I love <clears throat> is sent out in Jesus' name. So Jesus is sending us out in the world to do what? Help people. So it is sent out in Jesus' name. Our hands, are you finding the theme? Our hands are ready now to make the world a place in which the kingdom comes. And then we repeat that. Sent out in Jesus' name, our hands are ready now to make the world the place in which the kingdom comes. And then it's the angels cannot change a world of hurt and pain into a world of love, of justice, and of peace. The task is ours to do, to set it really free. Oh, help us to obey and carry out your will. So this is a fun song. I want you clapping. I want you dancing. I want you making noise and singing with me. Hopefully you will... <clears throat> catch the flavor as we go through. Sent out in Jesus' name, our hands are ready now to make the world a place in which the kingdom comes. Sent out in Jesus' name, our hands are ready now to make the world a place in which the kingdom comes. The angels cannot change. fun for the day. Now, I'm going to ask one more time. What are you going to do this week? You are going to help as Jesus would help in the world. So one of the ways we can help each other is through prayer. So we're going to pray for things in the world that we care about for people and all of those things. So I'm going to invite you to find a spot where you can focus your spirit and lift up our prayers to God. So let us pray together. Oh God, you love us so much and we love you. Thank you for being with us and for encouraging us to remember to help other people. 
we want to use our hands and our whole beings to make this world a better place. And so we promise to remember to ask people if they need some help, and if so, what kind of help, so that we can do what you have called us to do in this world. We want to help in the way that so many others have helped people, whether it's people in hospitals, helping people who are sick, teachers helping to, to teach people and helping us to learn new things, even our parents and our friends. There's so many people that help us. We give thanks for our family and friends and ask you, God, to keep them safe. We also ask you to take care of our pets and make sure that they're having a happy life. Help us to make sure that they're having a happy life too. We pray for, for people in the world who don't have enough food, who are like Bartimaeus the blind beggar. We hope that we will learn to share better with one another. That if we have extra food, we can give it to other people. If we have extra toys, we can give it to other people. Help us to remember that we are here to share all that we have been given with one another. This we pray in the words that Jesus taught us. Our creator who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Friends, thank you for being here with me today. I hope you'll tune in to our 1030 service so you can hear what the gratitude team has to say. Remember, you are not alone, that God is with you always, and that I miss you, and I look forward to the next time we get to hang out together. So take care, and we will talk to you soon. Stay, stay safe. Stay safe. Okay, bye.